Banks here, and today we're going to learn some banjo rolls. I've seen uh, on the forums going around a bit lately, people playing banjo rolls, talking about doing banjo rolls, and I thought, hell, I play the banjo, I play the guitar, I might as well show you how you do it on the guitar. Doing banjo rolls on the guitar is different from doing them on the banjo, and that is because the banjo is tuned in the key of G, and their roll configuration, which uses these three fingers with finger picks, is different to with a pick but we can mimic it pretty well. So the first roll that I played there was the guitar version of a thing called the Foggy Mountain Roll. If you're not familiar with Old Scruggs, check him out. He's like the Jesus Christ of the banjo, and his most famous tune is Foggy Mountain Breakdown, which was used in the film Bonnie and Clyde. And essentially what I'm doing here is I do a very famous banjo intro. So this is all in the key of E. And I'm moving my index finger from the first fret to the second fret, then to the third fret, and I'm plucking the top two strings with my pick, my middle, and my ring finger. And I'm muting up each pluck. So I get this. Then I'm going to pluck with the pick twice on the G and do a hammer from three to four. Keep that as short as possible. Like that. Then I do what's called a backwards roll. On the banjo there are five rolls, and the backwards roll is one of them. So after I do my second hammer on, I go ring on the high E string, middle on the B, pick with the downstroke, and then the high E again with my ring. So I get this. If I speed that up a little bit, and I do a sort of slightly shorter hammer on, you get this. Dismount for that is we go back to the first fret and then to the top. Like that. Then I slide up here and I do a bit of a bluesy thing. This is a lick that you can hear in the second chorus of Danny Gatton's solo in the song Blues Newberg. It is amazing. What I'm doing, I'm plucking the D with my pick and it's on the 14th fret, and I'm doing a forward roll, which obviously is the opposite of a backwards roll. My index finger flat across the B string at the 12th fret and the E string. So I go pick, middle, ring. And then with my pinky ring, I'm doing a pull off from 15, 14 to 12 on the G. And then I repeat it. At speed, it sounds pretty awesome. Then what I do is another lick that comes from Blues Newberg where I just take a E major triad, this is using like an F shape, and I'm doing another forward roll and I'm just moving down chromatically. I get to C, and then I continue doing a forward roll and I'm going down using an E mixolydian scale. So that's going to be on the G, 9, 7, 6, 4, 2, 1, then on the D, 4, 2, O, A, 4, 2, O, E, 4, 2, O. So you get this. Good old shave and a haircut ending, which goes like this. So I'm playing the major third and the minor third at the same time. It sounds horrible if you sustain it, so keep it really short. Then two plucks on the fifth fret of the B. Then six, four on the G, and then like that. This lick at the very beginning can be played in a closed position. If we were going to play it, say, in the key of G, it's a bit of a stretch, but you would have like the top half of a G major bar chord, and then you go. Now I've got ring finger on six, and I'm going to have to do that hammer on top with my pinky. Now excuse the tuning. But that means you're in position for the, the Gatton thing. So in Blues Newberg, if you go and check it out, it's in the key of D. And he does it up here. It's like, uh, again, apologies for any tuning things. Something like that. And I think he descends all the way down and does a, a, a rockabilly lick. But all of these things can be used to great effect. Like if you're playing a tune like False and Prison Blues, and the groove is like. In your solo, you can go. Great links to use in a guitar shop. 
get a telly off the wall or any guitar and you bust out a fast banjo roll lick, chances are the guys in the store and any other people that are looking at guitars are not going to hear licks like that much. So they're pretty impressive. But the best way to practice them is with a metronome. Slowly and build up that speed. <laughs> So you can see my banjo rolls from this angle. So thanks for tuning in and please subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, hit the like button, hit the bell so you get to find out about all the new videos. Please follow me on Instagram at the Rev Dr. Z. And uh, find me on Facebook at my artist page where we've got a little bit of a discussion group going there. Let me know if there's any kind of lesson you want me to do. Uh, if you feel like making a donation, you can do that at Pal Pay, uh, PayPal. Sorry. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in.